Hello guys and welcome to Command Blocks and White Wool and Village and new features that were added and yeah um, the new features these are all of the commands that uh, Mojang added for their new snapshot snapshot 13w36a I apologize if um, I don't get something right because I learned these on the spot and I just taught myself and spent like 30 minutes trying to learn everything and I don't even know if the wiki's up and has everything. So anyway, let's get started. Um, these are going to be the features that were just added. Hopefully I didn't repeat any or forget any because I'm just going through, I'm not looking at anything. Um, right away we have the achievement give benchmarking at player. I haven't tested this for fear I'd accidentally give it to myself, but basically what you're supposed to do is go to achievement give and then above ordinary unknown achievement or statistic benchmarking oh. okay basically you're supposed to be able to go into achievements and look at it um, not entirely sure how this is set up but basically you're supposed to do slash achievement give and then toggle through oh you have to do stat okay you have to do stat dot and then whatever stat dot climb one centimeter stat dot fly one centimeter stat dot dive minecart one centimeter boat one centimeter pig horse jump ooh stat jump dot okay stat dot dot jump wow Okay, so basically you can determine what someone does and give them an achievement for it. So you can like test for someone who just jumped one block and give them an achievement, which is really, really funny, I think. Um, so you have to make it stat dot whatever. So you can make it stat dot and then whatever item they craft, um, stat dot, yeah. Basically there's a ton of achievements. Um, you can read through them and basically just put them in. Um, give, let's just say stat dot drop done. Boom, given stat items dropped to above ordinary. You can record these and tell how many items they've dropped, etc., etc. Um, pretty straightforward. I might do a tutorial on them. Um, if you guys really want me to, just say. Um, now we have the default game mode, and then this is the command. Default game mode, this is how you change everyone. So like, um, world's default game mode is now in survival mode. So you just flip the switch. World's default game mode is now survival mode. You can do that for like the spawn. Like as soon as someone spawns, they just fall and turn straight into survival. I still can't get over those features. That's awesome. The pixelated thing. Okay, anyway, um, then we have slash me. Uh, I don't think this is new, but it basically says um, is going to die. It basically just does that. I don't think that's new. I know it's in bucket servers, but I don't know if it's been in vanilla. Here we have slash play sound mob pig dot say above ordinary general zero general zero one max volume one. <coughs> If you just do all of this and then just put in whatever the sound is that you're going to use and keep the rest the same and change this to like at player, at random, at all, um, you can play it like that. I don't, you could play like gassed sounds, which would be cool, slash play sound. And then if you hit tab, it, okay, it should cycle through all of them, but it's not right now. Um, so that's mob.play sound. <coughs> really cool and then you have spread players 0 100 200 uh, so basically if you're on a server and you want to spread the players out so they don't get in each other's way you just flip the switch and it spreads the players who are at 0 0 out 100 blocks and the maximum they can go is 200 and then here we have slash summon pig which spawns an animal at the direct location you're at um, you can do this approximately one block away from the command block 
on the x coordinate approximately 10 blocks higher than the command block and approximately I don't know like four block or three blocks in the um, y coordinate but I wasn't oh, okay there we go I was able to get it work so you just hmm, plops out of the sky you can use this as an admin for like an automatic mob farm which is really really cheap or you can use it for summoning things um, in an adventure map instead of trying to rely on that XP for mining dirt. I hope that's not a thing. Um, but yeah, so those are all the new commands that they added. And then here's all the scoreboard commands. Basically, they added a ton of them. And I was going to set them all up, but there's hundreds. So you can do slash scoreboard um, object tips add and then oh yeah um peace on earth why i don't know and then you can determine whether they've used an item um these are all items okay you can tell whether they've made an item you can tell whether they've dove one centimeter and you can keep track of all this um, kill entity silverfish can keep track of how many entities they've killed stat entity killed by ocelot you can determine um, how many mobs were killed by your ocelot uh, stat use item I can also go into these more detailedly more in, in more detail but I think they're pretty much self-explanatory um, dot stat fish caught and then you can just do yeah you can basically just do that and hit enter and that adds a stat dot fish caught um, so basically it says how many fish you've caught actually let's do that um, and then we'll do slash scoreboard objectives uh, set display and then peace on earth list ah. Um, maybe it's set display list peace on earth oh earth should have named that something less okay there we go so now it shows how many fish I've caught and I'm just going to build a little pond here I probably should have showed something that was easier to do um, they have a lure 3 in luck of the sea for um, Fishing rods, their new enchantments, which is really, 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 really cool. And we're just going to make an itty bitty pond. See how it works. Um, this needs to be up because I'm at the bottom. But yeah, so basically what this should do is uh, determine how many fish I've caught and keep track of it. And you can obviously do a test four command. If you know anything about redstone, you'll know that you can do a test four command to see how many fish a player has caught and um, that will help out a lot with Dez's fishing simulator that he made uh, if any of you know about that uh, it's a really fun map I recommend trying it out me and Beta are, pro are probably going to go in and um, change all the redstone around so you can determine how many fish the player has caught uh, why? because fishing simulators in Minecraft are a new thing they're, they're the trend, all the hip and cool kids are doing it, so you should too. It's totally legal. I swear you won't get arrested. Oh my god, okay, there we go. Oh, wow, okay, I didn't even stop recording. Okay, so I caught one fish, that's all I had the patience for. Keeps my score up at the top, shows me how many fish I've caught. Um, that's basically the premise that you can use for um, all of these achievements. If you really want me to... Um, do a scoreboard tutorial then I will it's not that difficult though so I will show you guys if you really want me to but yeah thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you want to see more uh, just leave a comment because I do read all of the comments and I'm a fairly open person to trying out what you guys suggest so yeah um, I guess I'll see you guys later bye bye